Jesus, we welcome you today. The very first institution that you blessed people with is marriage. I've had the honor of having a front row seat at the love story of Nicholson Page ever since the beginning and even before that. Two people, both from Texas, born 15 miles apart, who would meet 13 years later, only four miles apart, at just the right time, as God always does. They say that your sibling, siblings can be built-in best friends. And for Nicholas and for me, that's been the, the case our whole lives. Um, it's, we were reflecting this week on how special it's been just to grow up. You know, we shared a room our entire lives until the day I got married. Um, I went from one roommate to the next. <laughs> and it was an upgrade. No offense. No offense, Nicholas, but you'll know. <laughs> You'll understand. Uh, <laughs> Paige is such a constant friend. She's fun, she's refreshing, she is um, generous, she loves traditions, and Paige, I just can't wait to see what traditions you and Nicholas will create together in your marriage. interesting how our earthly imperfect ways are so opposite to God's heavenly perfect ways and uh, that is no more evident than right here in the definition of that word love it's an intense feeling based on an attraction but that's the best that the English dictionary can do to describe what most people would believe is a pretty accurate definition of love. When that word was originally written in that passage of 1 Corinthians 13, it wasn't the definition of, of an intense feeling based on an attraction. It was the word agape. And that word agape is so much deeper than our shallow, surfacy understandings. And it's not based on circumstances. It's not based on feelings. It's not based on attractions. It's based on something totally different. The word agape is based on choice. Just this morning, Paige, I went into Nicholas's room and I presented him what I thought was a really great idea. It was a creative element in this ceremony. And Nicholas said, you know what? I haven't had a chance to talk to Paige about that. So we're not gonna do that. And I thought, man, I wish I'd known that at his age. sacrifice dad that's a great idea I'd love to do it but my wife to be may not so well, that makes it sacrifice that is a God made God. even though we weren't sisters I feel like we did a lot of growing up together and I'm just really excited that we can keep growing up together now as official sisters you add so much to this world, to our family, to my life, and you've been the biggest addition to Nicholas's. 
I'm just going to say, Paige, I'm so grateful for you and all that you bring into Nicholas's world and into our lives. And you're marrying a man who is, there's no better person to build a family with, to share dreams with, to go on adventures with, to work on a future together. Getting to see how he looks at you is is so incredible. And uh, I, I'm just believing for what God has for the two of you. The days ahead are so bright. And I'm, I'm excited to be a part of the journey and a part of the process. And I'm excited to see the future years and chapters. This chapter is closing and a new chapter is beginning. And today you are making that choice. Nicholas, you are choosing Paige as your bride. Paige, you are making a choice today. You are choosing Nicholas to be in your life. That kind of God, love from God's perspective is what is going to be the sweet spot of your marriage. It is my privilege to declare you husband and wife. <clears throat> well, Nicholas, you may salute your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Morrow.